Reporting on the first day after his removal as minority leader, Harun Idris looked cheerful, embracing his colleague MPs who until two weeks ago was their leader. Muntaka Mubarak walked into the chamber moments thereafter, ostensibly in a hearty mood as well. As quickly as the new leadership took over, they proceeded to a conclave meeting with the speaker. At the seating, the speaker told the new leaders the House desires more from them. On behalf of the House, and on my part, I warmly welcome them to the hot seats of the leadership of my Parliament. And I want to emphasize hot seats of the leadership of Parliament. Their record of performance is visible for all to see. And I hope the new leadership will continue to draw from their fountain of wisdom, truth of wealth and experience. I know what it entails as a veteran of this journey and experience to lead a populous minority caucus in parliament. Much as he admonished them, the outgoing leadership had their share of the speaker's praise. All I can say to the former leaders is the Lord is your shepherd. You shall not want. Minority leader Dr. Kesela Tuforsen sent a strong message to the government on what his leadership would entail. To my colleagues on the majority side, I wish to convey from this side of the house that even as we remain firm, resolute, and principled in our journey to discharge our oversight duties as a caucus, we shall not be needlessly obstructionist in as much as what is under consideration is in the interest of the people of Ghana and the right process and requirements have been adhered to. Mr. Speaker, the people of Ghana looks up to us to mount a barrier between them and the Western standards of governance, especially because of the hung nature of this parliament. Mr. Speaker, this demands the highest level of scrutiny of government policies and activities to prevent the inflection of more damage and pain on an already weary and overburdened populace. For the majority leader, Haruna Idrisu's leadership did not do the NDC in. The Honorable Haruna Idrisu have become part of me for the past six years that we worked together. On occasions, there were allegations of a sellout. The speaker, let me use this occasion to state emphatically and unambiguously that no such thing ever happened. I developed a very harmonious working relationship, and people then read meanings into them. As the House moves in full swing, some system bills will be considered before the House rise for the Easter break. The Speaker expects nothing but commitment from the MPs. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Parliament House, Accra.